Hi, and welcome to The Buzz, the only show of its kind that spotlights the entertainment scene in Southern Maryland. And we are proudly brought to you by our sponsor, Birch Propane. I am your host, James Lepore, and with me today is the director and two cast members from Twin Beach Players production of Neil Simer's Rumors. So welcome. So happy to have you here today. And thank you, James. Starting from the end, we have Sid Curl, the director, Amy Prieto, who plays Chris. Chris Gorman. I love that name, Prieto. That thank is so you. cool. It's like I don't often have time <laughs> to relax, but when I do, I enjoy a nice cup of Prieto. I'm glad Keep you enjoy the it. Buzz, my <laughs> and also from Newtown Players and on the PR board with me too, Rick Thompson. So thank you so much for being here. Um, now, Sid, you were also the president too of um, yes, Twin Beach Players. Yes, I've been the president for three years now of Twin Beach Players, and uh, we're growing. Uh, things are really happening for us. It's a growing theater organization. The community is getting more involved with us. We have over 500 on our mailing list, over 100 members. So wow. we're really, really starting to get out there. You're a 501c3. Right, yep, nonprofit organization. Gotcha. Yeah, you know, I notice as they come to your shows, too, I mean, I see them starting to, the audience is starting to grow, grow, yes. grow, grow, grow. Yeah, we think it's because we're located at the Boys and Girls Club in North Beach. And, what, it's because you're, you've had appearances on The Buzz? Is that what you said? Well, yeah. The Buzz was a big inspiration. Uh, <laughs> For Frankenstein, but here we are back again for rumors. Oh, I loved it. Frankenstein was terrific. But um, and so and and also we should say that you're not only the president of the board and the director of this. You're also an actor as well. So. Yeah, yeah. I've been an, I was I've been an actor for 45 years. Um, I made my living in dinner theater. Went through the whole dinner theater circuit. So. Counting that and the shows I've done technically, I'm over 500 shows right now. So uh, I, I don't know if anybody really is interested in that. I feel inadequate now. Uh, I feel <laughs> insane. Um, how, did, how did you guys come to do Neil Simon's Rumors? I know we have a, at Newtown, we have a play selection committee. Do you have the same thing? Well, no, uh, I'm more or less the artistic director, too. I have about six sleeves in my shirt. Um, we always have found that uh, Neil Simon at the beginning of our season, uh, the audience loves Neil Simon, so mm -hmm. and it's a known name to them. So we always try to present a Neil Simon. Oh, so this is the first show of the of the new season. Well, really, Christmas Carol starts our season. This is the adult season. So okay. We have we go from children to adult, our youth troupe. So this is uh, we're kicking it off with rumors. Uh, we've done the female odd couple. We've done the odd couple. So the, those are we, the fools. We just try to keep on that vein because that's what our audiences seem to like. I don't have to do the odd couple because I just normally live the life of Felix <laughs> to begin with. Amy Prieto. Yes. Tell me about you. Um, have you been acting for a long time? Is this? Yeah, I'm sure a, this is certainly not your first role. It's is it? not. I've done a, a fair share of community theater. Uh, I actually just moved recently from California. Really. And did several productions in New Hall um, at the Canyon Theater Guild. And, um, well, shout out to the Canyon Theater right. Guild for all the people in California that watch the buzz on Facebook. Uh -huh. Well, they will. Um, so good, good. I like to hear that. Yep, I've um, I've done a, a range. I actually did Lost in Yonkers a very long time ago, so there is a little Neil Simon there. Um, I played Bella, and then um, more recently Dracula. I played Lucy. Did some Christmas shows. I thought you looked familiar. We have yeah. met before. <laughs> Have we? <laughs> That's right. Are you was, that was me in front row center sitting there like, I love this show. <laughs> he is a Dracula fan. I can attest to that. I am a huge Dracula fan. Okay. So uh, what, what brought you to the area? Mil mil let me guess. Military move. Um, government. Okay. Uh, yes. Yep. It's and usually one of the two when somebody says, I moved here from California. Yeah. It's usually military yeah. or government. That's right. So. And it, just a couple months later, I auditioned, and here we are. So, so you, you found a theater right away? Yeah. Yeah. I live close yes. by and went in, and luckily you Oh, sure. You don't, come, don't come down here to our theater. No, go to Sid's theater. It's a bit Thanks farther. a lot. <laughs> All right. Can, can we share her? How's that? Uh, we can negotiate. Okay, good. Pay mileage. And, and Rick, you, you, you're kind of a guy that does it all, too. I mean, actor, director, you're on the PR committee of Newtown Players. Um, how, many, how many shows have you worked on now? Nowhere near as many as Sid. Uh, I'm, I'm a little over 30. Uh, mainly, uh, mainly tech, uh, directing, sound design, uh, some lighting, a little bit of set design. Uh, you know, I'm... I'm mainly a backstage person. Occasionally, I'll act in a show. Yeah, how does it feel to be, uh, you know, on stage this time? Well, it's kind of unique because I just have to worry about me. 
I don't have to worry mm -hmm. about, you know, and, and making sure I'm not messing up any of the other actors. Mm -hmm. I, don't have to, I don't have to worry about, is the set going to get built? I don't have to worry about, is the, the, light, are the lights going to be there? Is the sound going to be there? Don't have to worry about any of that. So it's, it's unique. How are you doing with the New York accent? <laughs> See, for when, when I flew, when well, I, I grew played, up in New York. <laughs> Did you really? Yeah, I grew up. I lived in Uptown Manhattan up until the age of sixteen. Very cool. Um, you know, I played your role at mm -hmm. Newtown two mm -hmm. years ago, and uh, the first thing they said was, "Well, I don't have to teach James Lepore the New York accent; he's already got that." <laughs> so I was actually teaching everybody else how to do that. Sid, what were the? Um, this is very much an ensemble piece. In just mm -hmm. one second, we're yes. going to talk about the plot. So, what were the auditions like? Were they were they heavily based on how everybody was going to interact with each other, being that you've got, you know, a whole... Yeah, I mean, I, I wanted to see that. I wanted to see how the couples look together before I, I cast them. So uh, that was one of my objective, my uh, goals to get it out, uh, was to see how people looked together and if uh, they were believable. And I think I've pretty much gotten that in, uh, in my casting. You do a little mixing and matching and yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. switching up mm -hmm. the couples. Yeah. Very much so. Yeah. Now, I know there's a, there's a uh, police officer that comes out at the end. I noticed from your very cool promo video, which we'll also talk about, um, you have a female police officer. Yes. Comes out, right? Officer Welch. Yes, Tishka. Is she, is she scary? Uh, I mean, in the role, not 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 in real, not in real life. Yes, in real life and the role, it's, it's, you know, there's a balance. Uh, but she's also from New York, so her New York accent as the cop is very strong. But she was in Dracula too, wasn't she? Yes, she she played the grandmama. See, no, I'm not a Dracula groupie. No, she was in Frankenstein. She was in Frankenstein. Uh, oh, okay, that's right. right. Okay, she played it. the grandmama in Frankenstein. You know what? For anybody who is not familiar with Neil Simon rumors, I'm just going to give a, a brief synopsis, and then we'll we'll take it from there. Um, and yes, I take this directly from Wikipedia. Rumors is a farcical play by Neil Simon. Several affluent couples gather in the posh suburban residence of a couple for a dinner party celebrating their host's 10th anniversary. However, they discover there are no servants, the hostess is missing, and the host, who is the deputy mayor of New York City, has shot himself through the earlobe. Comedic complications arise when, given everyone's upper class status, that's why they chose you, Rick, because you're very yeah. regal. <laughs> they decide they need to do everything possible to conceal the evening's events from the local police and the media. Well, that's a pretty good... Yeah, that's, mm -hmm. that's yeah. pretty good. Pretty also, good. The, the couples are concealing it from each other, and it's slowly mm -hmm. the rumors come out as to what is going on. Uh -huh. the rumors. The there you go. As in, yeah. <laughs> that's where it comes out. <laughs> flash the flyer. <laughs> Might as well. You know, not for nothing, your logo is in red and black. It's not uh, a coincidence that I wore red and black today. Uh -huh. Because I usually try to coordinate my clothes to the, uh, the show's logo. <laughs> well, you've it's done an well excellent done. job, James. <laughs> that's, the, that's the OCD kicking in. Did I not wear a green shirt when you were on for Frankenstein? That, that is true, you I, did. I certainly did. Um, how long have you all been rehearsing, Rick? Uh, to be honest, I, I don't remember because... <laughs> when that happened, I was still working on Lion and Winter doing sound. So I've, oh, I've had right. two shows going at the same time. Right, in two <laughs> very, very uh, you know, different locations. Yeah, well, far, I live in between far. them, so, it's, so oh, it works okay. out. I live, I live do I go north? Frederick. Do I go south? Do Basically, I go north? yeah. But I knew that Lion was going to be ending, and I didn't have anything until Death Trap, and there was a hole, and I, I wanted to get involved in Twin Beaches, so I said, why not? Well, let me ask somebody who actually remembers. Amy, <laughs> how long is it that you've been <laughs> rehearsing? Six but, weeks. It? Thank you. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, Amy, how, how, are the, how are the costumes? I, I, I assume... From knowing the show, the men are in tuxedos, yes? Yes. yes. But uh, you ladies, are you having fun with uh, what you we'll get to wear? We'll have some wear. We haven't actually been in it yet, but this week is going to be the yeah, trial. I mean, this is, this is tech week. Yeah, yeah. 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 And, I, and you know me, I would never spoil any plot point at all. But let's just say, should we look forward to seeing Cookie in her dress? You should look forward to seeing Cookie in her 60-year-old Russian dress. Okay, you need to come to the show <laughs> in order to understand what that means. That's as if the show's not good enough, that's your teaser to, to find <laughs> out. Um, this show, who would you say 
this appeals to? Is this a, like an all-family, all or is it mm -hmm. like a, well, we, we, 40 we, and over? Or? Realizing the, uh, the language that was written, we've had to change it. Oh, my, is there bad language? There's, there's some bad <laughs> words. So uh, we've learned with our audience that some things are just not acceptable to them. So we've cleaned it up, and we're saying 10 years and older would probably have a really good time with this because of a lot of slapstick comedy. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, uh, nine, stay at home. But 10, you're fine. Yeah, yeah. 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 You know, and this show is, you can compare it to those, those Kaufman and Hart screwball comedies. It's, it's Simon's version of that, really. Yeah, it, mm -hmm. it's all, his first all, farce. All it wants to do is make you laugh. Actually, I read an interview last night with uh, Neil Simon, and that's basically what he said. He's, he, the, I, he was just at a point in his career where he said, you know, I just want to write something like just crazy screwball comedy mm -hmm. kind mm -hmm. of stuff, and that's absolutely what it is. And I, I know Sid's directing, so I have no doubt that this is going to be Crazy screwball comedy? A, a, yeah, crazy screwball comedy. Um, well, they cast a bunch of screwballs, so what do you think? Well, yeah. there you go. Very clever casting. Um, okay, now we talked about Twin Beach players. Now, again, this is held, um, as the past several shows have been, um, at the North Beach Boys and Girls Club. Yes. Okay. Um, and that's because you guys, at, so far, don't have a permanent home, true? Right. We don't have a permanent home. We formed this partnership with the, uh, the Boys and Girls Club of North Beach uh, and Southern Maryland. And they've been very kind and gracious to allow us in there and to have all these crazy actors running around. And then when we do children's shows, we had 70 kids and a Christmas carol. Mm -hmm. So uh, it, it works out really nice because when you join Twin Beach Players and as a child, you get also a membership into the Boys and Girls Club. So that's how we are partnering together. Mm -hmm. uh, just like with the town of North Beach on the 27th of April, and I have to mention this, is called Plant the Town. And that will support not only Twin Beach Players, but the Boys and Girls Club, the Comcast. You come in to the town, you get uh, one flower, you plant it, and the Boys and Girls Club gets $25. And that's on April 27th. That's a good deal. Yeah, they raised mm -hmm. over $7,000 last year for their organization. Right. So uh, you, if you want to come help us out, that's how you can do it. Not and too busy. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm kidding. I just like to make <laughs> Sid laugh. Of course, you'd all be a part of anything Twin Beach Players does. I'm a big fan. Um, now, considering that... Uh, you don't have the permanent home. And let me tell you, the, the Boys and Girls Club is, is really a nice venue. Oh, it's seating. very nice. I yep. mean, the way you, mm -hmm. you, you lay it out with the seating and everything, it's very comfortable. So don't think for a minute, like, oh, I'm going to the Boys and Girls Club. No, you're going to a theater. Yep. And you're mm -hmm. going we'll to see theater. a darn good show. See, I can clean up my language, too. <laughs> there you it's go. A, there you go. It's a darn good show. Um, but I was thinking about the fact that, you know, it, it's not a permanent stage. Um, and you guys have to build a set. So, I mean, do you, do you pretty much have to wait till yes. kind of late, 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 mm -hmm. late in the, mm -hmm. in the rehearsal, right? What right. kind of problems we does start, that cause? We start building uh, the No, week I was talking to Amy. I'm okay. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. We start building the week before Tech Week, and we get preliminary things built. Then we move into the area and finish building the set, which is what we're in the process now. Lighting will come in tonight. Sound will come in tonight. So uh, we, by Wednesday, hopefully everything will be to a point where we're ready to go. Mm -hmm. And uh, then it's dress rehearsal Wednesday night and Thursday night. And uh, we'll see what happens. You know? That's amazing, though. I mean, have you ever had any little snafus or anything? I mean, when you, when you take it really down to the wire like that? I mean, you guys open Friday night. So. Snafus? You <laughs> bet we have snafus. Really? Yeah. Any, sometimes they're just as entertaining as the, the production going on. <laughs> so, uh, Maybe you should sell tickets to the uh, snafu night. You know, no, the, no, that's where we do use the language. You don't want to come uh, to that. <laughs> okay. Now, let's say that... Um, you are running, let's see, the dates run from? The 5th of April to okay. the 21st of April. Okay, we that's Fridays, Saturdays, weekends. and Sundays. Great. Right. We have a special show on the 11th of April. That's what we call our senior night where tickets are only $6. Ooh, uh, we, run, we run $12 general admission general and military students, seniors, and members are $10. Mm -hmm. So we're located at 9021 Dayton Avenue. North Beach 20714, so you can He's got this down Google like. it right in. Uh, yeah, well, it's my job. I'm the president. Well, <laughs> so. that, that, is, that is true. Um, well, you know what? Then let's tell everybody how do they get tickets. Uh, you get tickets, you go on to www.twinbeachplayers.com. You'll find a link on there that uh, you can get to show ticks and reserve tickets. We strongly recommend 
that you reserve your tickets ahead of time. That way it gets you better seats in the house. Uh, or you, well, that, that's the best way. Or you can go on Facebook. We're located on Facebook also. Which I see is facebook.com slash Twin Beach Players. Yes. With no, with no spaces. Yes. Okay. Very cool. Well, I absolutely do not miss this show. Amy, welcome to Maryland. And Thanks. let me tell you, California's loss is Maryland's uh, community theaters. Game. Yes, it is. Well, I, I definitely that. feel Thank that. Way. And Rick, we're like just we're just here. Right? <laughs> yeah, we're not, we're not leaving. We're not going anyplace. You can always count on me. And we're right and to be here. Thirty some years. So we're <laughs> now. You know, I've only been here for well, not quite seven. It just seems like. But we love you anyway. Well, thank you. I'm <laughs> I'm trying to acclimate. Um, I want to say before we leave, you guys have a very very cool teaser promo video, and yes. I, I would have loved to have been able to capture it and have it as part of the show, but technically it just. I just couldn't get it done. So, because it's too high tech. I, I guess that's what it is. Um, <laughs> but how do people find this? Because uh, they, they really need on, to see this. Well, thing. you can it's go cool. onto YouTube and look up Twin Beach Players on YouTube, and uh, you'll see the video that's created by Vivian Peterson, who is just a very I know that, creative Vivian. artist. Mm -hmm. She's mm, very she's been in some of your productions. Yes, too, she has. She? she has been in several of our shows. She's a part of our board, and she's in charge of the membership and uh, video development, and she does an excellent job. Um, so, so we're so very YouTube, happy. So YouTube, Twin Beach Players, and probably a good idea to type in rumors, too, yeah. so you get that right away. That'll get um, it. I think it's on your Facebook page as well. It's so yes, it's on the Facebook page. So you have page. plenty of opportunities to see this video. Check it out. It, it, it's, it's very cool. You will love it. Um, go to see rumors on Please. behalf of my guest, Sid Curl. Amy Prieto, which Very I said good. correctly this time. Rick Thompson. I'm James Lepore. I want to thank you for watching once again The Buzz. I will be back next week with an all new episode. Thanks to my sponsor, Bir Birch Propane. You are watching The Buzz. Propane heat is efficient, versatile, and environmentally friendly. Call Birch Propane today to learn more about this economical heating solution. Our certified service technicians can answer any questions you may have and show you the most efficient and effective way to heat your home. Propane also fuels many home appliances, such as stoves, ovens, dryers, even hot water heaters. See our website, learn more, or call us today, 301-373-2131. Birch Propane, building a greener future.